Good evening YouTube, 7 Lives Gaming, gaming from every angle and this evening I'll be bringing you another PSP emulators video this time on Game Boy Advance emulators my other one did quite well so I thought I'd do another one on different emulators so as you can see I've got the same custom firmware as before so we'll get straight into the uh, emulators Sorry for the shaky camera. Now the two emulators I'm going to be comparing today is GPSP Kai, the new Kai version, and the new GPSP J, which is this one, Gameplay SP. Now this is the old one. So just forget about that. So first of all we'll start off with the the new J version. Now this version of the emulator, um, GPSP J is just a it was originally based on the the original card version. So they're quite similar, but both uh, got different features. Now, the two games I'll show you is Final Fantasy VI and Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, because I think these two games are the, the most that have problems with emulators. So, but first of all, when you first download this emulator, it's in Japanese. So the first thing you want to know is how to get it in English. So I'll show you that now. So you just press X and it will take you to the menu then what you want to do is go down 5 and press circle and go all the way down to the bottom press across and you see it changed to English at the bottom press main menu then go down to this or you can just press left um, trigger play again doesn't take too long to load and there we are so that's Final Fantasy 6 advance so it doesn't have a full screen mode unfortunately so this is as best you're going to get it you can't really see because it's dark but there's borders either side of the screen but that can't be out. It's the same with every game. You can't actually. You, I mean, you can change it, but you can't get it any bigger than that without actually zooming in and losing some of the picture. So as you can see, this runs with no faults whatsoever. If you press triangle, you can go back to the menu, and as you can see now it's all in English so you don't have to run FF6 you can run any game but as long as you run a game when you've changed the options and then press triangle the menu will turn into English so we'll go over the emulator quickly we've got you know the save states save state details this um, screen capture emulator options gamepad options analog stick configuration load game cartridge information, reset, return to game, sleep and exit so the emulator options pretty simple and you know we've got display mode which is the user GU magnification 170 as I said you can only magnify you can't actually set it to full screen so frame skip all this comes default anyway so you don't have to mess about with it CPU clock sound volume stack optimize boot from bios and update backup i don't have a clue what these are for so just leave them as they are gamepad configuration you, know, you can change but there's no need really because it all comes standard so i mean that's it really on this it's fairly simple layout there's no 
menu after menu it's just simply laid out you now configure your analog stick if you want to I can't move the analog otherwise I'll move the PSP but I've not enabled it but you can enable it if you want but I just prefer to play with the D-pad make it more authentic so we'll try and load Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories now instead and as you see could, lot, could not load the game file press any button to continue so obviously it doesn't run every game and it doesn't run Kingdom Hearts which is one of the problem games for emulators which is a bit gay but yeah overall it's not a bad emulator so we'll go on to the next emulator now right so it's GPS PK 3.4 test 3 beta 1.52 bit of a mouthful but this is the most latest release I'll put both the uh, download links in the description so let's just check that out So first start up, it will just say all these, you know, opening stuff and etc. etc. But I will say, with this Kai version, you do need the Game Boy Advance BIOS file. I'm not going to put that in the description because you can download it from Google. Pretty simple to download it. You know, but it's it's not a big file, but you just have to have this, otherwise it won't work. But it's it's not difficult. You can you can get that anywhere. So again, it loads at the blue menu. So same sort of layout as before, but as you can see, it's full screen. Um, slightly different menus. Standardly comes in English, so that's a, a bonus. So we've got you know video and sound effects options. You know, Game Boy Advance display scaling 3.2 scaled. So, what you want to do really is change that to full screen 16.9. So, this has got full screen, which is obviously better. Filter in, make the graphics smoother. You can do that on the other emulator as well. TV output ratio. So, I don't know whether you, whether you can plug it into your TV. Well, you obviously can, but I haven't done that. So, then frame skip, audio emulation, and all this comes as standard apart from the uh, display scaling. So, you just have to change that yourself if you want full screen. That's no problem, really. You know, screenshot as well. It's got the save states, control configuration. The D-pad pretty similar as the other one. Also, comes as standard, so there's no need to mess around with that. Analog stick configuration again. That enable analog sensitivity, tilt sensor, all that. All comes as standard. So, but this one's got a cheat support, which the other one doesn't have. Then we've got, you know, restart, GBA, resume game, load new cartridge, and then miscellaneous options, which is the CPU clock speed, updates, RAM, free home button, and debug mode, fake fat, then obviously English language, boot mode, game card, this all comes standard, so I wouldn't really mess about with it. So let's start up a game, and see what happens keep pressing the wrong button right 
I didn't mean to do that. I'll oh, press space start GBA, that's probably why. Um, load new cartridge. There we go. So, just go to the folder. Here we go. So again, Final Fantasy, Six Advance, and Kingdom Hearts, Chain of Memories. So we'll just play Final Fantasy. This emulator takes a little longer to load the ROMs. I'm not sure why, but it's only a few seconds. There we are. Exactly the same as before. But obviously this time it's in full screen. So that's always better than you know, having black bars. So it's all, it's all fine. You know, it runs pretty much the same as the other one. So, but obviously, full screen is much better. No problem at all. So we'll just press triangle, go back to the menu and we'll try Kingdom Hearts, that didn't work on the other emulator so we'll try this one. So we'll just cycle to the folder again, the GBA folder, um, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. So let's see if this loads this time in this emulator. As I said, it takes a little while to load, but yes, it's loaded. So obviously this emulator has a much better compatibility rate. So we'll just, you know, cause just because it boots into the menu doesn't automatically, it means that it plays the ROM, so. We'll just, you know, start a new game, see what happens. Okay, select file. Oh, and there you go, the graphics are bugged up. And it will freeze, yeah. So it freezes, but there is a fix if you specifically want to play this game, and I'll show you what it is now. All you have to do is save state. I pressed the wrong button again, sorry. Save state. Do you want to save state? Yes. So that's saved. Then all you have to do is load state. Yes. And then it will carry on. So if you didn't know about that, I don't know whether it's just my PSP because I've got an old PSP, you know, and it's not got as much RAM as the others. It may work fine on yours, I have no idea, but. You know, if you have the same problem as this, just do what I did. Now this cutscene will, the colours and you know, the graphics will stay buggy, but as soon as the game starts properly, um, it runs perfectly fine because I've tested it. I'll show you that now, just to show you that it really does work. But yeah, I haven't tried any other games, but if those two work, I'm pretty sure that all the others will. I mean in the old version of DJ that's what I used to use and they all work fine and this is the Kai version but it's newer it's an updated release so it should all work fine I've not actually played this game but I've heard it's, it's good card based Kingdom Hearts game Yeah, so it's worth it if you can put up with the, the bugged out cutscene. Definitely. And there you are, you see the graphics. You know, it plays perfectly fine now.
So we'll go press triangle to go back to the menu. Or Donald Duck and Goofy. So yeah, this is just pretty much all you get with the emulator. Again, nice clean layout, no menu after menu. But like I said, you do need the Game Boy Advance BIOS file. But I'm sure you can find that yourself. Um, yeah, so if you ask me what's the best emulator, I'll definitely say this time, um, it's the Kai version. Now if you would have asked me a year ago, I'd have said the J version. Um, no doubt about it, hands down. But now, it's definitely the Kai version for a number of reasons. Whether it be the full screen, you know, the better compatibility. But you know, everybody has their own opinion. So if you want the J version, you know, I'll put the link in the description for both. So... Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful to you. Um, if you if you like this video, please check out my uh, Mega Drive emulators. I'll put a link in there as well for that. So, thanks for watching. Um, check out my other videos, my gameplay videos as well. Uh, this was Seven Lives Gaming. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you very much.